I've been doing music now for over seven years full time, which is kind of crazy. I've had the privilege to travel all around the globe. And I looked in the mirror the other day and I was like, I rap and sing for a living. That's really weird because I actually failed music in school. My teacher, she failed me. Um, I, I, they tried to teach me to play the trumpet and I, I just couldn't hit the notes. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, any trumpet players in here? Yeah. I hate the trumpet. I'm just kidding. But you know, I wish I could say I was always the type of guy that could stand up here and perform and talk, but if you saw me years ago, you'd see a different person up here, you know? You'd see someone struggling with insecurity, fear, just a dude that didn't have it all figured out, you know? I lost my dad to suicide when I was five years old, so that affected me growing up. They always call me shy, and they always call me timid. And that used to make me so angry because I knew it was true. I was shy, I was timid, but I didn't want to be that way, man. I want to be popular, I want to be outgoing. I had all these big dreams in my heart that I wanted to go after, but I didn't know how to get from where I was to where my dreams were. And this constant fear would just keep gripping me and pulling me back and pulling me back until I realized what fear is. And all it stands for is false evidence appearing real. You know, something that seems real in your mind, but in reality it's nothing at all. We just blow it all up in our minds or the thing that caused us to lose sleep, you know? Well... It changed for me one day, you know, and I started to step out and go after my dreams. And it's when I got a hold of a scripture, it says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, that I don't have a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And when I got that in my heart, and I got that in my mind, it changed the way I saw myself. I didn't see myself as a loser anymore. I didn't see myself as a failure. I saw myself as a success. And that's the way God sees you. And I just want to encourage you. I'm not the type of guy that started out too good. I made a lot of mistakes going forward. A lot of people are like, yeah, Chris didn't start off too good. But you know what? It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And I know you guys are going to finish great. This next song is just going out to anyone who's ever thought about giving up. It's called Every Time You Run. I encourage you to keep going. And I hope this song speaks to you.